says, I've got what animal by the tail? The correct answer to questions like this could win one of our contestants this tough little Mitsubishi Mighty Max truck, or this sporty Mitsubishi Eclipse, or any of these other good-looking new automobiles on the all-new musical Top Card. And now, here's the host of Top Card, Jim Colbert. Hey everybody, what's happening? This is Top Card, the game that combines knowledge, strategy, and luck of the draw, and glad you could join us. We're gonna get into it right now. Come on, let's get to it. Where's Blake? Blake I'm is here. here. <laughs> she comes floating out. <laughs> you know, I've been um, neglecting to tell all my friends hi everywhere, so I'm taking this opportunity to do it. Hello, everyone. Hey, everybody, what's happening out there? <laughs> okay, that opening question, what's the answer? Is Tiger. Tiger, yeah, <laughs> people off camera going like this as, give us a hint, you got it, exactly. Now, let's meet our players and see if they can answer similar questions. We have a returning champion from Nashville, Tennessee. Her name is Tracy Stevens. Well, Tracy, here we are. Once again, how do you feel today? A little better than I was yesterday. A little better, yeah. you say? Not, not quite as nervous. Once you've gotten up here once, you at least have a sense of what it's all mm -hmm. about, right? Well, Tracy, you did a good job. You came close on getting the car. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can make it to Top Card Plus one more time today. Good luck to you. Next to you, we have a challenger. He's from Mount Juliet, Tennessee. His name is Charlie Gog Goddard. Goddard, that's right. Goddard. Thank you. He almost <laughs> calls you Mr. Godard, but it's Goddard. <laughs> Charlie, how you doing? Doing fine, Jim. Executive Director of USSA. Pray tell, what is that? Well, that stands for the United States Songwriters Association. We're a national nonprofit songwriters organization, and we help to uh, educate songwriters on all levels and all different styles of music. Interesting, Charlie. Okay, good to have you here. Now, next okay. to you is another challenger. She's also a songwriter. She's from Irwin, Tennessee. Her name is Debbie Farley. Debbie, I think what we should have Charlie do is pull out an application and make sure you join up, right? That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> you write all kinds of music and sing and everything? Yes, I write country and gospel. Good for you, Debbie. Nice to have you on the show. So there it is, folks. We have three players, and they are fired up and ready to go. And it's all going to be happening when we come back after these words from our sponsors. So you stay with us now. All right, Debbie, Charlie, and Tracy, they're the players, and they're excited because this is the first round of Top Card, and we are about to begin. Now, you want to hit 21 or come closer to 21 than either of your two opponents, and along the way, you must answer some questions from these eight categories. Let's check them out for today. We have country hits, animal antics, songbirds, nicknames, word from our sponsor, fill in the blank, wings and wheels, and on the tube. Those are the eight categories. You give me a correct answer, you're going to have a choice to make. You can take the card behind the category or choose the top card in front of Blake. Either way, the category you chose as well as the card behind it, then leave the game. Now you can freeze at any time. First player to freeze will have one last chance to play. And there's one other important fact here. There are no ties in top card. So when you freeze at a given number, you own it. What we've done is we've taken the cards ace through 10, shuffled them around just a little bit, put one behind each of the categories on the board with no duplicates. You see a four up there. That's the only four you'll find on the board. And aces are worth how much there, Debbie? One. One is right. Now, Tracy? How would you like to start us off? Are you ready? Yes, I'll take on the tube. On the tube it is. Hands on your buzzers, everyone. Here we go. This music was heard at the beginning of a show hosted by a couple. Listen and give me their first names. Charlie. Sonny and Cher. Sonny and Cher is right, Charlie. <laughs> off and running. Charlie's got to look at the first card on the board. It's a nine. Would you like that? Uh, take the top card, top please. Top card doesn't want that nine. He gets a six. Now, what are you going to do, Charlie? Okay. First, uh, he makes a face, and then he selects. <laughs> Let's try country hits. All please. right, top left-hand corner. Complete the title line from a hit by Loretta Lynn. If you're looking at me, you're... Yes, Debbie? You're looking at country. That's right. <laughs> You've probably sung that in your day, haven't you, Debbie? Okay, here's a card for you. How about a six? I'll take the top card. Top card comes up. You get a four two situations where the card in front of Blake has been lower than what was on the board. Select, Debbie. Fill in the blank. Here you go. Fill in the blank in the title of this 1989 hit by Patti Loveless using a common logging term. Charlie? Timber. 
Timbers, right? We didn't even get to the song. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Talk about fast. That was fast. Timber, I'm falling in love is right. Charlie, go ahead to the board and let's select. I mean, let's take a look at the card. Here it is on the board. It's a seven. All right, what do you think, Charlie? You want uh, that or the top card? I'll take the top card. Top card comes up, seven goes away. You have 11, uh, Charlie. Uh, yeah. All right, now yeah. let's take a look at the board and see where Charlie's going to go next. Okay, uh, let's try nicknames. Nicknames is where? In the middle right? Here's the question. One of Ernest Tubbs' nicknames is the same as his back... Charlie. E.T.? No, same as his back... Debbie? Troubadour? Troubadour is right. The Texas Troubadour. All right, Debbie, you have four. Here comes the card at you. It's an eight, would give you 12. You want it? Top card. Top card, she says. An eight also, you have 12. Debbie, would you like to freeze, or do you want to continue? No, I'll go on. All right, what now? Songbirds. Songbirds reveals this. Here's a country hit from the 60s. Listen and name this songbird. When you found somebody new. Debbie. Hi, Connie Smith. Connie Smith is right. The one and only once a day. She's singing. Debbie, you have 12. A nine will give you 21. What's on the board? It's a three would give you 15. Do you want that or the top card? take the top card. If you see a 10 or a face card, Debbie, you'll bust. What do you have, Blake? A 5. Puts you to 17. Do you want to freeze now? I'll freeze. Now it's time to freeze, she says. Okay, Debbie, go ahead and pass control to either Charlie or Tracy. Tracy. Tracy gets it. All right, Tracy, you do not have a score yet. Yay. Three categories on the board. Select one. I'll take Animal Annex, please. For you and Charlie now. Here's a pop hit from the 60s. Listen and tell me if they're the turtles, fish, Monkeys or jaguars? Imagine. Charlie. Turtles. Turtles is right. All right. Happy together. Well, that was fast. All right, Charlie, you'd like to see a 10 up there. I forget you know if it. we've seen one on the board or not. What do we have up here? A 10, and you got 21. Wow, look at that. That 11 paid off for Charlie. He found a 10. John, what do you have for him? Well, it's from Casio, Jim, the CP750 AM FM stereo double cassette recorder with programmable CD. Unique speaker system provides rich, full sound. Take your music on the road with Casio. And great game, Charlie. Thank you. All right, Charlie, you'll have an opportunity to relax. I like to indicate the players can do that during the second round, a little R&R. &R. You'll watch Tracy and Debbie as they face each other. And then, Charlie, you will be back in the third and final championship round. That'll be your showdown. Folks, Debbie and Tracy are going to face each other off now. They're going to go at it head to head right after these words. motor-driven revolving brush plus powerful suction in a lightweight package from Royal Appliance. And it's Tracy and Debbie time on top card. And Jim, that means round number two. Okay, Don, let's proceed with the activities at hand. Debbie and Tracy, good luck. Now, as you both take a look at the board, you'll see that in the top left-hand corner, country hits is the category that is there. I'll pull a question from that top left-hand category and let's begin. Here's a country hit from a couple of years ago. Listen and name this singer. You can't run from love. Tracy. Eddie Rabbit. Eddie Rabbit is right. You can't run from love. Tracy, good for you. Here's a card. First one of the day. I'll take top card. Second round, we have a face card worth 10. Now what, Tracy? I'll go for on the tube. And I ask you both this. The opening of Monday Night Football features a country artist singing a version of All My Rowdy... Yes, Tracy. Hank Williams, Jr. That's right. All My Rowdy Friends. Are you ready for the football? Yeah. <laughs> Tracy, here's a card for you. It is a seven. Would give you 17. I'm going to take top card. Top card, she says. You get a four. You have 14. Now, do you want to freeze or continue? Go Good luck. I want fill in the blank. Yes, ma'am. Where is that? Here it is. Fill in the blank in this line from a Rolling Stones hit. Jumpin' Jack Flash is a what, what, what? <laughs> Jumpin' Jack Flash is a gas, 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 is what that was. <laughs> well, I had fun with it. Okay, <laughs> nobody gets that card. And Tracy, you're still up for a selection. I'll try a word from our sponsor. Across the way. 
The jingle, if you've got the time, we've got the beer, advertises what brand of beer, Tracy? Miller beer. Miller. <laughs> if you've got the time, 14 plus of this gives you a 17 this time. Do you want it? Or do you want to try the top card? Anything over a seven, you'll bust. I'm going to take the three. Three comes off. You I'm have 17. Paint. Okay, now what are you going to do? You're going to watch to see what happens as Debbie now tries to go out into the lead. With only four categories on the board, Debbie, select one. Songbirds. Okay, remember, if you miss a question, you'll be stopped. Okay. During the 70s, she had the hits We're All Alone and Higher and Higher. She was married to Chris Christofferson. Name her. Rita Coolidge. Right. All right, Debbie, here's a card for you. It is a 10. Do you I'll want it? I'll take it. Tens are very popular here, aren't they, Debbie? Yes. Okay, back to the board now. I'll take animal antics. Using the name of a very changeable animal, complete the title of this song by Culture Club. Karma what? Skunk. <laughs> Well, I'm not so sure how changeable a skunk is, but I know a chameleon can look a lot uh -huh. of different ways, and that's what I needed, Debbie. You're stopped right there. Tracy, you've won the second round. Let's see what Don has for you, Tracy. And you've won Quill Texas coordinated bedding, outerwear, sweaters, and 100% cotton layettes when it comes to baby. Quill Tex has them covered, and fine job, Tracy. All right, Tracy, you advance to the third and final championship round. Good luck as you get ready to face Charlie. I'm sorry, though, Debbie, it didn't work out better for you. That karma skunk got you there, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, that culture club got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are fun to be around, Debbie. We wish you the best of luck with your songwriting and singing career, and thanks for playing Top Card. Thank you very much. I've had a ball. Terrific. Okay, Tracy and Charlie are now going to head for that final round. It's coming up after these words. Stay with us. Why don't you get over here? Let's jump up here and see how well you can do at this. Huh? You want to do that, Don? I don't think so, Jim. <laughs> Don't want to do that, huh? Okay, let's get to the championship round between two solid players. Charlie and Tracy, good luck. Charlie, you won the first round, so let's see if you'd like to uh, begin here in this third and final championship round. Okay, uh, let's try on the tube. I ask you both this question. For years, this man began his musical variety show with this song. Listen and name him. Dream along Tracy. With Dean me. Martin? No. Charlie? Perry Como. Perry Como's right. That's <laughs> right. Okay, Charlie, you are on the board. How about an ace? I'll keep it. Ace comes off. Go again, Charlie. Select. Okay, uh, let's try uh, country hits. In one of his hits, John Anderson sings, I'm just an old chunk of coal, but I'm gonna be a... Yes, Charlie? A diamond. A diamond someday. Just an old chunk of coal, huh? Okay, Charlie, here you go. Ace plus an eight would give you nine. Top card, please. Top card pops up. You are already up to 11. Now, okay. where will you go next? Let's try uh, <laughs> fill in the blank. Using the name of a jukebox, fill in the blank in the title of this hit by Waylon Jennings. Yes, Charlie? Wurlitzer. The Wurlitzer Prize. He didn't even need the blank, folks. All right, Charlie, you have 11. A 10 will give you 21. Is it there? Let's see. It's a 9. That'll give you 20. Do you want I'll that? I'll take it, and I'm going to freeze. Take the 9, and you'll freeze. Okay. Well, that didn't take long, did it, Tracy? No. All right, let's see what happens now. Charlie's going to watch to see if you can hit 21. That's what you need to do to win, Tracy. Pick a category. I'll take Animal Annex. All right, remember, if you miss a question, you'll be stopped. The opening line of Mac the Knife says, Oh, the what has pretty teeth, dear? Uh. Oh, the shark has... Something like that, right? The shark is what I needed there, Tracy. I'm sorry you're stopped. And Charlie, you've won the championship. What do you have for Charlie, Don? We have some luggage, Jim. Ricardo, Beverly Hills Rodeo Drive 2 collection. Fully lined, lightweight, bright, and cheerful luggage. High-density nylon construction. Weekend or around-the-world trips from Ricardo, Beverly Hills. And how about that, Charlie? All right, All right Charlie. Charlie Goddard, you have an opportunity to win a car. Are you ready for that? I sure am. 
Okay, <laughs> good luck. You're going to move into the, the final bonus round. We call it Top Card Plus in just a few moments, so get ready for that. Say, Tracy Stevens, you've been a solid player. You sure have. You've did my a, best. You did your best, and it wasn't quite good enough today against Charlie, but let me tell you something. You leave us with a total of $3,130. Right. And our thanks for playing Top Card, Thank Tracy. You. Best of luck to you. So, Charlie Goddard is the new champion, folks. What do you say? Huh? Let's try to win him a car. Let's see if he can do it right after this. How to get in the door, how not to get ripped off, right. you know, all those things. It sounds like a similar, I've heard of these organizations for inventors that want to uh, get their invention on the market. Mm -hmm. They can go to someone similar who can kind of show them the ropes and that kind mm -hmm. of thing. So that's the service you provide, huh? Sure. What else do you do besides that, Charlie? What do I do? Well, I have you know, a lot of fun with my family. I'm married and I have three boys. Oh, fabulous. How old are they? Well, I have a uh, son, Jason, who's 10. Uh, Charlie Jr., we call him Chazzy. He's three. And then we have... Nikki Nicholas, he's 10 months old. Oh, fabulous. Congratulations. Yeah. New yeah. member of the family. And I bet you want to stop talking. You want to get to the car, don't you? Okay, want to see what it. you want to win? Sure. All right, let's do it. Don, open those doors and let's see what kind of car Charlie's going for here. And Charlie, 21, and this car will be yours. It's the Mitsubishi Mirage three-door hatchback with clean, youthful styling, spirited performance, and lots of room. And featuring a 1.5-liter fuel-injected engine. It's a remarkable value Mirage. Its design is a vision. It's Practicality, no illusion. Retail value, $7,800. And good luck, Charlie. Yeah. All right, I know your family, which you just described, is going to be excited if you can pick up that Mirage. All you have to do is hit 21, and it's yours. And you know you'll have four chances from our eight categories up here. Four chances, four questions. You know, not only find a card behind each category, but also a prize. So if you give me a correct answer, you'll win that prize. And a choice. Take the card behind the category, or choose the top card in front of Blake. The combination of cards, if it hits 21 and you're driving home in that nice mirage. However, if you bust or hit a joker, I'll have to stop you right there and take all your prizes away that you picked up in this round. Charlie, you knew that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I'll give you a chance to stop after each correct answer. The board is loaded from a regulation 52 card deck, so the combination of cards could be just anything. Go ahead and select. Where will you start? Uh, let's try on the tube. On the tube. Don, what do you have behind there? What about a nice set of coffee tables? Yes, Ashley's contemporary oak table with movable casters in Impressive veneer patterns, gracefully arched solid wood legs, smoke bevel cut glass inserts, and cane bottom shelves from Ashley worth $800. All right. Country hits the category. Right? No, on the tube, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, I almost pulled the wrong question there. That <laughs> wouldn't have been the right thing to do at all, huh? Listen carefully. Using four words, complete the opening line from the Mr. Ed theme song. A horse is a horse what? Of course, of course. Of course, of course, exactly. Right. Right. All right, you picked up those coffee tables, and let's take a look at what the card is. It's a face card worth 10. I'll keep it. Do you want that? You want that indeed. Okay, we then move forward. You have the coffee tables. Do you want to stop or continue? Oh, let's go on. Go on now. Where are you going to go next? Uh, fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. You like that category. Let's see what's there this time. A ceiling fan. From Casablanca comes this sleek design ceiling fan with its elegant light fixture, Casablanca, when you have no room for second best, worth $680. All right. Keep you nice and cool. Fill in the blank the category. Both Johnny Carver and the Starland vocal band had hits with this song. Fill in the blank in the title. Blank Delight. Afternoon. Afternoon Delight. Ceiling fan, you picked that up, Charlie. Let's see what the card is. You have 10. How about a three? Now, that would give you 13. It's a low card. You I'll take it. You want to take it off the board? Okay. You have some more room to operate. Do you want to stop or continue? I want to continue. All right now, where will you go next? Uh, country hits. Country hits, top left-hand corner. What's the prize? It's a food preparer. Ah, this KitchenAid mixer can handle most every task, from a single egg white to kneading yeast dough. With attachments, it's a complete food preparer. Approximate value, $570. All right, country hits is the category. You have 13. Here's the question. In 1981, John Denver had a hit whose title line said, Some days are diamonds, some days are what? Stone. Stone is right. <laughs> or stones. You have 13. And if you can find yourself an 8 behind there, you'll have yourself a brand new car. Anything greater than that, and you'll bust. I sure hope that doesn't happen. What's behind the food preparer? We have an 8! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Congratulations. Charlie has picked himself up quite a boodle package, folks. We're talking a coffee table, a ceiling fan, the food preparer, and the car, the Mirage. Total in prizes worth $10,500. Charlie, congratulations. Thank you did it. And my wife, Kelly, is going to be excited. About She's going to be excited. Your kids are going to be excited. You've got yourself a station wagon. He's a grand champion, folks. He ain't coming back, as we like to say here in Top Car, but he doesn't mind because he's got himself a car. If Unless you want to do anything else, let's go take a look let's at the go. car. Right. Folks, we'll see you on the next Top Car. Thanks for watching. They turned a West Coast street machine hobby into a national sport. Meet the drivers and their crews on NHRA Today, Sundays on TNN, the heart of country. Top Card is a Reedland production.